Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't think I've done an unboxing on this channel, maybe once like five years ago. I don't know, a long time ago, <laughs> who knows? But um, yeah, I have not really, it's not something I do on this channel, but I'm 26 weeks pregnant and I have been looking for a pushchair travel system that is affordable and light um, because we didn't want to spend lots of money on on a travel system in general like we're not really branded people um, we just wanted something that was safe and something that was light and portable and transportable because I don't drive so I'll be taking public transport quite a lot um, also I'll be probably walking a lot um, so we well Kyle left it up to me <laughs> so I <laughs> I did like so much research, so much research to find affordable ones that were like a combined travel system that were still kind of like from a good brand or from a, a, at least a reputable brand, um, not just like an Amazon company that, you know, <laughs> like an Amazon company that just <laughs> isn't exactly, uh, don't know how to explain it, but yeah, so. <laughs> Anyways, I did come across the Ickle Bubba. There was, there's a lot of different Ickle Bubbas. Ickle Bubbas, wow, that's such a weird, weird word. Weird brand name, Ickle Bubba. So there was the Stomps. Stomps are very popular. Stomp 3 is very popular right now. I know there's a Stomp 4 out. There's also the Stomp 2 that you can still buy, which is still quite affordable. The only issue I had with that um, was that they were, they're quite bulky. They're quite big um, travel systems, I'd say, for what I need. like. The wheels are industrial <laughs> looking to me. So I was like, I need something that's just a bit more compact, portable, and just easy going. So I found the Ickle Bubba Moon and I looked at it, I looked at the specs and decided that this was the one we were gonna get. I got a great discount using Emma's Diary, so yeah. That's why I went for this. It's, this cost me 219, 215 pounds, so yeah. That was a great deal. <laughs> it was basically like, it was basically 80 pounds off. So I can't really complain. We couldn't complain about that. That was within our budget and you know, it's brand new and it's light and we're excited. So I'm gonna do an unboxing. Oh, the reason I come to do this intro that took so long is that I couldn't find any information online about this travel system and it's a two-in-one, but it comes with a car seat, which is over here somewhere. You just can't see it. It's out of shot because it's a smaller box, so it wouldn't be in the shot even if I had it here. Um, so it's right next to me. So there was, no, like, no information. I couldn't even find it. Maybe one unboxing that wasn't in English. So, <laughs> so I decided to do you a service and to do this because... I could not find this. I couldn't find much info about it. I think it came out maybe in 2019. Not too sure. Maybe. Um, that's the furthest back I could kind of find information on it. So we're gonna see. <laughs> There's a few things online. I looked on some mum forums, I looked on Peanut, and there were a couple of like people talking about it. There was like free fed free threads on Peanut, and that's saying something like there's really no info out there. So I wanted to try it out and tell you how it is so you don't have to do that <laughs> if it's not for you. But yeah, I'm gonna start unboxing it now. out and then I'll come back to show you. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything out <laughs> on the floor. It wasn't that hard to take out, it's just because it was all kind of one piece for the, uh, the push chair. That's why it was kind of a bit of work to get out. So the first thing, oh, I'm scared I'm gonna break it. First thing we've got is I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it has instructions. I should probably read those. Read the instructions. We're not doing that no instruction here. Oh, some wheels. 
important instructions. What are those? Those look like the adapters for the, what's it called? Car seat. <laughs> This is the the thing, the bumper bar thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh, definitely gonna need this in England. Rain cover. Important stuff. Cute. I mean, it's rain cover. Is it really cute? <laughs> like, I wouldn't say cute is the word to describe a rain cover. The back wheels. This is the, oh, how cute. Look at that. <laughs> this is the, the carry cot slash seat. It converts, has little things on the bottom to convert it. So cool. And that looks like a foot muff or something. Is it a foot muff? I can't remember what that is. Let's see when I open it. So this awkward positioning. That is oh yeah, this is for the mmm <laughs> what is it? Is it for that? No. I think this is for the car seat. Potentially. This is potentially for the car seat. Because I know that usually the cover comes separately. The bag and oh this is to zip onto the the carry cot conversion bit when it's a carry cot so that just goes on the end but now I've got to put this all together <laughs> so I'm gonna put it together and then I will oh wait I didn't show you the car seat or the chassis this is, chassis. This is the chassis <laughs> it's huge this is the chassis and I'll show you the car seat and then I'll put it together and this is the car seat. I can't remember which car seat it is. I will write it down here. Oh, this is the Astra. It's the Astra car seat, group zero plus. Zero to, I think, 15 months, something like that. But yeah, this is nice. Cool, so I'm gonna put this all together and then I'll see you in a second. I'll try and time lapse it. some lunch after I put everything together it was pretty easy I've got the car seat on right now um, but it was pretty easy the only issue I had was with this leg like these legs they have little pins that pop them in and one of the pins went inside when I tried to I wanted to see what it would be like to release the legs so I don't know if you can actually see that um, see the legs but down here, as I was saying, one of the pins went back in. So I had to like pry it out and then like reinstall the pin. And that was kind of annoying because it took me like about five minutes. Uh, it was really finicky. And I was scared that I'd broken it, but I hadn't. It's just the way it was built. So that, that was like, oof, one thing that I was like, ooh, not as secure as I thought. <laughs> so I got the car seat in. Oh, that's just me just moving the other part. It's actually really light, like with the car seat on, that weighs nothing, look at it, it's cute, you can see in there, so here it is, this is the car seat, installed, it looks good, feels good, It moves a bit, which I've heard is normal because I saw someone actually ask that. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty good. Soon there'll be a little one in there. 
Ta-ha. Now I'm going to put on the other pieces so you can see what those look like. So I'll show you how to uninstall the car seat. It's got these two memory clips. They just clip in and then <laughs> so easy, super light. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so that's that. And then this basket's pretty good. It's got quite a bit of space in it, to be honest. So yeah, that's quite nice. Now, for this guy. Oh, I've got it in the other mode. Uh, we'll do it in this mode first. Do, do. That just clips on like that. Probably should have done it the other way. I can show you. Like, just. Pew. Clips on like that. This comes up. That is down. Cool. There's a little knob right here for changing it into the other mode. So you literally just do that and I haven't actually done this yet. Ooh. Oh yeah, I've got the straps all tucked in. I think it goes like that. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. That seems right. <laughs> oh my gosh. The struggle. So it has like a different um I don't know what you call that seat seat secure thing the little metal thing here that you see I don't know if you can see that to be honest but there's a metal rod that goes along the back that's supposed to kind of secure I guess the weight of the seat but it's not the one that's in the picture it's a straight bar, not like angled. So <laughs> I just like clipped it on the way I thought it was supposed to be done. Um, but I have no idea <laughs> if it's correct. It seems correct. It just because I can't, I couldn't physically see in the manual what it should look like because it's not the same bar. I just hope, <laughs> hope so. Maybe it's in there. Okay. So light. This is so light. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a breeze. Such a breeze to push around. How nice. Doo -doo. Okay, I just realized I hadn't actually shown you up close. This is in the the seat version. It's really light. That's really why I wanted it. Oh, and this is taking things around. 
that is and this was what I was talking about this is the clip to move it into different positions so you can see there that is that position which is a little bit higher and then the next one is flat so like if they're asleep then they can lay flat like that and the original position and I'll also show you what the the Karikati version looks like and this is the carry cot version or pram mode that was really easy actually to get into now that I know how to do it to just ignore all that oh I have to put the rain cover on I'm gonna put the rain cover on so you can see that and I totally forgot to put the bumper on <laughs> so I'll put the bumper on here so you can see what it looks like that is what the bumper looks like but it's not supposed to be on that so I might have to do it again but just showing you what the bumper looks like and then I will show you how the carry cut looks fully with this piece on which I haven't strapped on yet I completely forgot about it so this is how it looks the pram unit with, with the thingy in I mean like kind of interesting And that's just kind of how it looks. It does fall flat in some places, which makes me wonder. <laughs> like when the wind hits it, it's just gonna be like. Pow! I just don't see that staying up. You know, when the English wind hits it. But that's that. Cute, cute. Figured out one more thing. The bumper is supposed to go in here so you're supposed to unclip these and put the bumper in and then put it over it um that's how it stays up because i was saying it was like really flimsy but now it's like super secure so it won't fall down when you just like touch it, it actually stays up and that looks a lot better and it makes a lot more sense now so yeah that's how it goes on with the bumper and this is the seat mode with the bumper on. Cool. It's just there. It's really nice. Feels good quality. And that's that. Not sure if I showed it in this position, but it also does. Can be front facing. So you can have baby in here, little toddler, I guess, in that position as well for the for the seat mode. So that is another alternative to have baby facing you when they're a bit older, if they don't want to look out and explore the world, which I'm sure they probably will actually want to do instead of seeing you <laughs> your feet. I realised that. I haven't shown this pram in its proper mode so this is how it is with a foot muff this is postpartum um, been using this for a while haven't been using it like this I've been using it obviously with a carry cop because I have a newborn uh, who's here so but this is what it looks like in the pram setting with the foot muff on it I thought I'd actually do an update show you that because I didn't do this in the video because I completely forgot that the foot muff is actually supposed to go on but yeah it's been great I've taken it on the beach so it has sand everywhere on it and I've taken it for walks um yeah so far no issues with it it's really done well and it's super light I've taken it on public transport I've taken it on a train <laughs> it's it's been through the ringer and it's it's holding up very well been enjoying it you can see where well, there's like salt on this from the sand when we were at the beach it kind of rained a little bit and then like the salt kind of stuck sat on it or the sand sat on it and then it left like a salt residue but I didn't realize until later and so I have to wait until it rains again and then I can actually like brush it off properly or I could just clean it you know with water 
but that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> so I haven't done that yet because I have a newborn. But yeah, that's the update. And that's what it looks like in pram mode with the foot muff on it. Probably won't need this for a while. Very creased, very creased. Don't think there's a way to get creases up. But hopefully over time, it will not be creased. This is probably how it's gonna be stored, actually, until, until we use it to keep the dust off of it. So, that's the whole thing. Ooh. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, it has this like breathing thing. I guess you can that's obviously not the way that goes. Keep that up. So you got some ventilation going through there. Just me, just me on my a day out in the rain. Da, 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 da. But yeah. This is it with the cover on. The vent. And that's the whole thing. So, final thoughts. I really like it. I think it looks great. It's kind of everything we need. We really don't need much more than what's going on there. Like, we actually don't need much more than anything more than what we have. So, I think it's great. I think I got it for a great price. I saw online you can, like, buy the the brown. Because I saw the brown, but it was more expensive. And I was not paying for it just, like, £100 extra or whatever for just, like, two brown pieces of, like, pleather. Like, what? Why? <laughs> so... I, you can actually buy them online. Um, so I, I was looking on eBay and I saw some that you can you can buy. So I might get those, maybe, I'm not sure. So I might get those and put them on this, and I think that'd be like kind of cute. And on the 
on the other handlebar thing. But yeah, that's my first thoughts and unboxing of the Ickle Bubba Moon. And I, I guess I'll let you know in the future how it goes. And if I have any other issues other than like that pin part that didn't work and um, or that fell out or well, fell in actually, <laughs> which scared me because I was like, oh my God, how far is it going to go? But it didn't go anywhere because it, it can't because it has to extend like that. So anyways, um, and the bar that was different from the manual, the manual isn't the best, not gonna lie. It doesn't actually tell you how to put it specifically into the pram mode. Um, it just kind of tells you how to set up the pram and that's a, they assume it's going to be in pram mode once you do that but if all the straps aren't in the right place then it won't be and you have to figure that out on your own or just watch the video online which tells you how to do it manual could definitely be better but anyways that's it for me do you have the ickle baba moon have you tried it are you thinking of buying it what are your thoughts how's yours been going do you have any issues with it definitely things that people would love to know and I would love to know. I hope this was helpful and you got to see what it was like because there was nothing online and nothing. It's like crickets. So I kind of got this as like taking one for the team to be honest because I was like I really wanted it and I was like oh, I'll take the risk on it see if it's any good um, and I'm so happy I did. So I will see you guys next time in another video. Until then have a great day. Bye bye.